Hello YouTube. It's starting to get dark so I want to go ahead and shoot some video. This is my sleeping platform and interior storage on my 1997 Toyota 80 series Land Cruiser. It originally started with trying to get more storage space. I had my spare tire inside the car so I laid it down, cut down my parents' old card table, and it fit right over top of it perfectly. Strapped it down, and then I realized that it was in line with the second row seat when you folded it down. So that was actually my first sleeping platform. But I didn't really like it, it wasn't long enough. So I decided to experiment with this. I moved the spare tire up against the back of the cruiser, which gave me some more room to put in this storage unit. That's the other thing. I had been using these Ziploc containers, which I really liked them. They're moisture and dust proof, but when I took my last camping trip, I realized that a lot of the time, it seems like the box I always needed was on the bottom. So I had to move all the other boxes, get that box out, open it up, take the one thing out I needed, close the box back up, put it back in. Now I can simply open the drawer, take out what I need, shut the drawer, there we go. And these are just little three drawer containers I got at Walmart. This is very much a budget build. So they can't, they, they come out, you know, I can take them out. Right now I have two of them and I just have them um, Velcroed together to hold them in place. And I could strap them down as well. I may do that when I'm riding, trail riding. You know, I just may run a strap over the top of it. So here's all my camp gear. Here's my kitchen and cooking stuff. And my little one burner camp stove. My Reflexit plate warmer, my cutting board. Um, this is a four inch memory foam pad. It's 33 inches wide and 75 inches long. So it's really nice to sleep on. Um, here are my louvered screened uh, window covers that I made this week also. I had screens for my windows, but nothing to keep the rain out. And this last camping trip, it I think it rained one night a little bit and threatened a second night. So I had seen something like this on YouTube, so I came home and made my own. And today we had it about an hour shower from moderate to heavy with gusty winds. And I had maybe two little drops on each side. And I think what happens is the rain is hitting the top of the bottom louver and just kind of bouncing up through. So, so far so good. They did not blow off and they did not leak. Here's my storage underneath. I've got my recovery box, little shovel, tire deflator, and there's the top end of my off-road jack. Up underneath here, that's just a little PVC stand that I put together. It's gone through about three versions as well. It's now it's just helping to hold up and support the uh, car table when I lay on it. That's that'll be the spot I get on and off. And you would think that I made it exactly to fit over my power puller, but I didn't. It just kind of worked out that way. So I thought that was cool. I may get a container just to fit in here, just to you know, take advantage of that space. What I will do is I'll enter the cruiser for the night from here, climb up onto the sleeping pad, and be good to go. Also, this is this last trip, this is where I put my cooler. I had a 40 quart cooler, which was I think still too big for me. I think I'm gonna get a smaller cooler, maybe like a 28 quart. And it'll either sit there or I may just set it up in the passenger seat 
where I could get to it while I'm driving. That would be nice. But like I said, I do everything on a budget. So I'm using, I'm repurposing what I already have and then seeing what was the alternative. And when I thought about it, you know, trying to build a frame or get a friend to help me build a frame. And I realized, well, a frame is basically just a table. So I was at Walmart with the wife today and I'd been looking at them online and my local Walmart had this card table for 30 bucks. And I thought the materials and certainly my time wouldn't be that much. So brought it home, measured, cut it off with a grinder. Ta-da. So that's it. Sleeping platform version 3.0, I think. And in internal storage unit version two. Oh, and my goal is if I have to, to be able to sleep inside the cruiser with all of my gear. So far I've been able to do that. And I think I will with this setup as well. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe just for the heck of it. Share it with your friends. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.